Case to fall again tonight. Yeah, it wasn't bad out there today. Actually, cooler than expected. Mm -hmm. Temperatures really just stayed in the upper 60s. We had a nice breeze from the southeast. Really made it feel nice out there, comfortable. Really stayed away from the rain too until maybe later tonight. As we get past midnight, a better chance of seeing some showers and storms. As far as what to expect, again, we just had isolated showers really through the afternoon and tonight. But as we get past midnight, more showers and even some storms are going to start to become more widespread as they start to form as that low pressure system continues to move towards the northeast at us this evening. And some of these showers and storms still could produce some locally heavy rainfall, especially if you get in a heavier uh, shower with a thunderstorm or you get some repeated showers and storms over your area. Severe threat is pretty much non-existent, but there could be a stronger storm, especially the farther west you go towards that South Dakota and Minnesota border. And if you look to the west, you can see the strong line of showers and storms moving to the east. They have a better environment to the west into South Dakota with some stronger energy cape, a lot more shear to work with with those storms. But as those storms continue to move to the east into the Minnesota, they're going to get into a weaker environment for severe weather. So those storms really in the intensity of those should start to dwindle down as it moves to the east. What we'll be watching for as is for some showers and storms really to develop from New Alm down to Fairmont and to the east through Mankato and into the south into northern Iowa. As we go past midnight again, the Storm Prediction Center has some areas to the west in a marginal risk of one out of five, one out of five for a stronger or severe storm. Again, that'll be farther to the west. I really think those storms as they move into Minnesota are going to start to dwindle down. It's so really not expecting any severe weather as we go overnight tonight. This low pressure is creating the showers and storms. That's going to move to the northeast as we go past midnight. This is going to trigger again those showers and storms more widespread as we get towards 2, 3 in the morning, really lasting through about sunrise before that system continues to move off to the northeast. We'll get some counterclockwise flow some out of the north Northwest that could produce some more isolated showers and storms in the afternoon tomorrow through the evening and again really still on Friday as that low pressure system stalls out over the Great Lakes before it continues to move east by this weekend. Again, towards midnight, this line of showers and storms should start to weaken out. We start to see some more showers and storms develop through central Minnesota. As we get towards 2, 3 in the morning, they'll start to develop even more into northern Iowa and into southern Minnesota. And then you look at 4, 5 o'clock, those continue to develop. Again, I think the best chance of seeing these showers and storms really going to be from New Alm down to Fairmont and to the east and again into northern Iowa. And we'll see these kind of develop about 4 through 8 in the morning before they finally start to move off to the east as we get past sunrise tomorrow. And we'll have a partly cloudy day. We could see some peaks of shower or sunshine as we get into the afternoon, but again, we'll see some isolated backflow of some showers and storms later into the afternoon evening tomorrow. And again, as we go into the day Friday, we'll continue to have that northwest flow producing some isolated showers even as we go into the day on Friday. Rain chances, though, those start to weaken as we go towards Friday. That system moves off to the east. High pressure replaces it for the weekend, mostly sunny conditions, and even just isolated chances of some showers and storms as we go into the week next week. High temperatures today really struggle to get into the low 70s, 72 into Mankato, 72 into St. James, a cool spot into Jackson, 68 degrees, but mostly the temperatures remained into the upper 60s for most of the day as we had a lot of cloud coverage in the area. And as we take a look, at that 10 day forecast, we're going to have some isolated showers and storms again as we get northwest flow with that low pressure on Thursday and Friday, but we will see some sun on those days as well. The weekend again, high pressure starts to make its way into the area. Nice weather, mostly sunny conditions, temperatures near 80, and we're going to stay that way as we go into next week. Really a nice dry stretch of weather, a lot of sunshine as we go. Well, already towards the middle of August. Can't believe that. So some nice weather is headed this way, though. Just got to get through some possible showers and storms tonight and tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah. We'll be right back with sports.